Those two are great river casts as a cast. It gives you up more space. But there's also some really neat casts to use as an angler that help you fish the water better, gives you more chance of catching a fish. And the first one of those we're going to look at is called the reach cast. And it's called the reach cast because very simply, you're going to make a reach. You're going to aim your cast at where you want the fly to land. And then when you make that last cast, you can simply reach your rod to one side. You can reach it to the right. You can equally reach it. And there are plenty of times when you reach it to the left. So that's a reach cast. You can see what happens is I make my cast and then I reach. And I'll come on to why you do that in a moment, but let's just look at how and the kind of the key things to do. First key thing is aim at your target. Really important. Sounds logical, but there's some of these casts you don't actually aim at the target. This one, you aim where you want your fly to land. You do need some slack hanging down. In terms of this cast, you're going to make your forward stroke and then watch what's going to happen with my left hand. I'm going to let the slack go and then reach. And the movement of the reach takes the slack up. That's essential. What you don't want to do is shoot the line and then reach, right? So you see the difference there. It's very important you should re release the slack and then reach. And a good little tip on that is let's say your reach moves the rod six feet. I want to make sure I have six feet of slack hanging down. Okay, so I'm going to make that reach cast the same one to the right here. Got my line lined up, aim at the fish, let the slack go reach there. If I do that, my fly lands where I want it to land. If I've only got two feet of slack hanging down and I make a six foot movement with my rod tip, I'm pulling that fly back four feet. So I'm pulling it off the target. So the amount of slack is pretty important there. Good little tip to have is make sure you have enough slack to move that rod whatever distance you're gonna move the rod. So that's how you do it. Let's just take a look at a couple of situations now as why you would do it. And really there's three situations where I use this reach cast. The first one is a nice simple one and you're fishing up a grass bank and you're casting along close to that bank because you're looking for some bank feeders. If you make a regular ordinary overhead cast, your line's gonna land on the grass bank or land really close to the grass bank. And what happens to that reach cast, when you make that reach cast, that reach cast lands the fly where you want it to, but the reach takes the line away from the bank and away from the grass and the snacks. Very cool. Another option, hey, let's imagine there's an obstacle like a rock or a boulder or something there and there's a fish behind it. If you cast straight at that fish, you're gonna line on top of the rock and snag it. And so the reach cast is another very useful cast. You aim at the fish, you make your reach, you shoot your slack and you reach around the obstacle. So that's another great one. But perhaps the most used one of all is when you're fishing river and you get a little bit more advanced as a fly fisher and you're fishing in two different current speeds. For example, let's say you're wading up a nice fast bit of current and the fish are lower, lying in the slower and you cast your fly into that slower current. What you want is you want your fly to drift beautifully at the same speed as that slow current. But because you're standing in the fast current, that fast current zips the line out at the wrong speed. So in this situation, when you make your regular cast, you land it in the slow current and reach your line into the slow current, your line comes back at the same speed and your fly comes back at the same speed as the current and it's much more natural for the fish. So that reach cast is a very essential cast. As I said, it's not more of a technical cast, but it's definitely a technical fishing cast. And that is an essential thing to add to your armor.